Okay, today I'm gonna to answer the question of how do you access a repeater with a handheld or a base station radio? The process is the same for all types of radios as well as all types of analog repeaters. I was gonna film this video outside today. I thought it would be nicer, but unfortunately it's too windy. Uh, we'll go outside later on to try and make a contact. The particular re repeater I'm going to show you as an example is our Club G-Bark repeater. There are two repeaters that are linked together on 2 meters as well as 70 centimeters. And I'll, I'll show you both of them. Um, but the, the procedure is going to be the same for any repeater that you, you may want to connect to. All right, so let's get started. There's three pieces of information about the repeater that you need to know. The first being the repeater's transmit frequency. This is the frequency that, we, that you will set your radio to receive on. So take a look here. I'm gonna use the example of our club's two meter repeater. Uh, look in the directory. I got this online, New England repeater directory anyrepeaters.com, okay. Here's our club's repeater. 146.445. You'll notice here uh, it says plus 1M. That's the offset. And then we go over a little further and it says 77. That is the, that is the tone frequency that we need. Okay, so the We've already set it, typed it in, 146.445. This is also the frequency that is listed right here, as we just saw. The next piece of information you need to know is the repeater's offset. This is the frequency your radio will transmit on that the, re that the repeater will be listening to. It is different from the frequency you will receive on, but it is always going to be relative to it, being either above or below. And it, it's going to be indicated with a plus or a minus in the directory. So you see here in the list, uh, under the frequency listings, but then we see OFS, that's offset. You see different repeaters have a plus or a minus next to them. Uh, the, the common offset for most 2 meter repeaters is 0.6 megahertz. In this case, our G-Bark repeater has an odd offset, so it's actually 1 megahertz. In the directory, if, if there's an odd offset, uh, take a look at these other repeaters. Notice they just show a plus or a minus. But with ours, the odd offset, it says plus 1M. So that means plus one megahertz. So we're going to be transmitting on 147.445. Okay, and the last piece of information you need to know is the PL tone. This can also be referred to as the CTCSS tone or the code. As you'll see here, code. And our code is 77 hertz. Uh, this this code is a sub-audible tone that must be transmitted by your radio in order to um, have your signal be accepted by the repeater. No tone, no entry. This tone is put in place to help eliminate unwanted interference. So let, let's take a look at how to set this up. So we've already set our receive frequency here 146.445 next I'm gonna set the tone so I'm gonna go into menu and I'm gonna scroll to menu item number 13 okay and you'll see here okay it's already set 77 hit menu again and we can toggle it we can go to different tones different repeaters are gonna have different tones Again, ours happens to be 77. Menu again saves it. 
Okay, now, now we need to set the direction of the offset. Go up to menu item number 25. Okay, here it is. It's going to say, this particular radio, it says F SFT-D. That means offset direction. Press menu again. I want to set it to plus. If you were to set it to off, uh, then you, you would be transmitting on the same frequency that you're receiving on. And that's not what we want to do. So, plus. Okay, menu again. Saves it. Okay, now the direction's set, but we need to tell the radio how much of an offset that we need. Again, most uh, most repeaters are going to be 0.6, but in this case, um, our repeater is 1 megahertz. So I'm going to type in... Oh, we lost it. Menu, okay. So I'm going to type in 0, 0, 1... So we have 1.000. Menu again, saves it. Okay, that's it, set. Okay, no notice what happens when I push the transmit button. Oh, let me get more light. It jumps up to 147, right? And then it, when I let go, it goes back to the receive. So, there we go, we're programmed. All done. Okay, I'm going to switch over to this other radio. Um, th this one I already have programmed. Um, I'm going to show you now the se the 70 centimeter repeater. The process for programming it is exactly the same. Uh, take a look at the directory, and we'll find our, our uh, 70 centimeter repeater. So, we'll go down here. And the one I have underlined, 441.700. Um, and then you'll see the offset, follow that down. Offset says plus. Notice here, there's no number next to it indicating how much of an offset. If, if there's no number, that means it's going to use a standard offset. The offset for 70 centimeters is generally 5 megahertz. So, so that means our transmit frequency is going to be plus 5 megahertz from 441700. So that'll be 446700. The tone for this repeater, underline there, again, 77 hertz. Uh, take a look at the other, other repeaters, you can see all different numbers. It's, uh, it's different for all repeaters. Depending on your location, you may be heard better on the 2 meter versus the 70 centimeter machine. Um, my recommendation, program them both into your radio so you can select between the two, depending on your location. Okay, and finally, I'm going to show you yet another way that you can access the GBARC linked repeater system, and that is through Echolink. Uh, go ahead and download this for your cell phone or your computer. It, it, it's available for both. Um, to access our system, connect to the 441700 node. It can also be searched for by typing in N1KGN. Okay, we'll search. Aha, there it is. Bridgeport. Okay, go ahead, click on that. Um, you will now be able to talk in on your phone, and your transmissions will be broadcast out on both 2 meter and 70 centimeter repeaters. Now when I connect, when I connect, we should hear some kind of confirmation on the, on the radio. We'll, we'll see what happens. Connecting. Okay, there we go. Look at that, someone already wants to talk to us. Let's go outside for the contact.
N1DID, do you copy? KB1 THM. All right, cool. I'm I'm actually on an HT. I'm outside in Easton right now. I'm I'm doing a video for how to connect to the repeater. So good to hear you and good timing.